For more on the situation in Syria, let's uh, talk again to our correspondent, Zhang Chengju, in Damascus. Hello, Gan Chengju. Uh, give us a sense of the atmosphere mm -hmm. in the Syrian capital. Well, uh, in Damascus these days, the government forces have escalated their operations against the rebels in Damascus countryside uh, because uh, these days plenty of mortar bombs launched by rebels hit different parts of Damascus, including the center of the city. Uh, and now the government forces have besieged the rebel groups in some parts of the countryside, such as the East Ghouta and the Daria in the south. Uh, another thing that was mentioned is that the government forces has uh, found the main road uh, through which the rebels in Damascus countryside get supply from Syria's south border with Jordan. And now uh, two sides are fighting to control this road, which is important for the rebels' supply. Well, Chengju, as we mentioned earlier, one of Syria's most uh, outstanding rebel groups, the Al-Nusra Front, has pledged its allegiance to Al-Qaeda. Uh, what's the significance of this move? Uh, actually, the Syrian government has long accused the Nusra Front of uh, conducting terrorist attack, attacks inside Syria uh, and considered the Nusra Front to have relationship with Qaeda. And yesterday, Nusra Front just publicly admitted that. Uh, and by coincidence, just one day before Nusra Front's announcement, uh, the Syrian government sent a letter to the United Nations and the Security Council accusing some countries of supporting terrorist groups inside Syria under the double standards in dealing with the international counter-terrorism obligations. And the Syrian government demanded the Security Council to send a clear message to the terrorists and to those who support them to show its commitment to the fight against the terrorism. Thank you very much indeed. Our reporter Zhang Chengju in the Syrian capital, Damascus.